In this video, I'm going to be talking about what nursing notes is and kind of what some of the cards may look like. And so we have 60 cards within this deck and they range from different types of cardiology, neurology, we also have psychiatry, uh, different types of lab values that you may reference often, pharmacology, uh, ob and peds, as well as respiratory. So those are the different sections that we have uh, within our cards. And they're, what they were designed for is a number of ways. One, you can either just kind of loop on the ones that are important for a specific rotation or a specific uh, field that you're in, whatever specialty you may be in within nursing. Um, and you can also even put these on your badge. They're a little bit bigger, uh, but they, they're, they're kind of used depending on what purpose you may want them for. Uh, but I always like to put them in just within my scrub pockets in, in the front pocket pretty small. Um, and these just help you kind of reference the most common things you may uh, come across. So I'll kind of browse through them and, and talk about them as we go. So we have different types of cranial nerves, um, different types of symptoms that you may have if a patient had a stroke and you may not be uh, remembering them as quickly or maybe you're seeing a, a code happen in front of you or you're dealing with a patient that uh, on your, your neurology rotation and, and you kind of want to remember, well, why is this patient having this particular stroke or these particular symptoms? What, what, what uh, may have happened? Where, where is the lesion that we can localize? Just based off of what you've been reading and learning in school and kind of how that correlates to normal practice. We can have remembering how we do a neurological physical exam as well as the different reflexes and strength. When you're on your psychiatry rotation, you can also remember uh, different mnemonics that you may have learned in school. For example, what are the symptoms of mania, the different types of suicide risk, depression, how we do a psychiatric uh, physical exam, some of the common drugs that you'll deal with as well as what would those symptoms look like both um, when they're intoxicated as well as when they're undergoing withdrawal and what are the different exam findings that you may experience. Oftentimes early on in your nursing career you may have uh, difficulty remembering some of the different labs and over periods of time when you just reference them over and over and over again they'll be second nature and you can remove these cards from your deck but definitely early on maybe something that you may want to uh, commonly referenced. These are different types of medications that you will often use um, just as a floor nurse when you're kind of dealing with just your basic patients, whether it be on medicine or on surgery. Those are the type of medications that you'll commonly deal with as well as uh, when you're in the ICU. These are common drug antidotes that you may run across, uh, different types of PRN medications that you're commonly going to be um, administering that are going to be ordered on the floor all the time and just knowing the different types of mechanisms of action just kind of referencing it especially when you're dealing with um, kind of trying to put two and two together when you have learned it from a textbook and you kind of forgot about it and then you're seeing it again in real life it really will help to reinstate that knowledge then when you're on ob and pediatrics I think that this is a extremely important set to use because you're kind of dealing with things that nobody really has a good grasp of memorizing. For example, the immunization or vaccination schedules for these babies, the different types of developmental milestones that they're going to be dealing with, what is going to be a normal um, APGAR or kind of what are the components of an APGAR, all the different pediatric vital signs that even when they just change a couple months their their vital signs change drastically as well as their lab values are going to be very different um, and especially if you're not in pediatrics, you're not going to be dealing with them that frequently. You're not going to put them to memory as well as some other abbreviations as well that you may deal with on ob -GYN. And so th these are just some of the cards that you'll, you'll deal with, uh, some of the things that you may commonly reference or have been referencing as a nurse, and feel free to check these out. Be sure to check out our website, medicalbasics.com, for more educational resources like our progress notebook, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more tips and lessons.